Tonight we're going to see a production of Avartung, which is an opera by Schoenberg, created by the visual artist Robin Rode for Performa 15, which is the performance art biennial that takes place in New York. You know, what's so beautiful about this particular piece is that uh, the original uh, libretto, the original story, the narrative takes place in a dark forest uh, with the only source of moon, a still source of light is that of the moon. And I felt that the, you know, the skyscrapers of, of New York City and uh, um, the artificial light sources that are around here becomes our soprano, our character's moonlight, and the tall buildings become the tall trees of the forest. We had an artist in residence named Luke Dubois who told me about an ensemble called Wet Ink Ensemble who are performing here as our orchestra tonight. So it's been a real joy to bring artists to Times Square to create some of the highest art forms and share it with a very, very general public. I was really inspired firstly by this, the notion of lamentation. Uh, and, and anguish, uh, and you know, I somehow developed a kind of parallel interest uh, in understanding of this narrative to that of various women around the world who have also lamented the loss of a man. I used to sing this piece, but in concert, so which is completely different. And I never sang, I never sing this piece uh, really on stage finally so that was for me this this big 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 challenge to to do it yet uh, for the first time on stage and on Times Square <laughs> I don't think so that the, most of the people uh, speak German here but uh, the music is so communicative so expressive they, they understand what is happening when I arrived in this role four years ago, one of the dreams that I had was actually to produce an opera outside in Times Square amidst all of the action and the chaos and the cacophony. It's public opera, it's opera for people, it's amazing. In fact, I don't think I've enjoyed opera so much. 